what is up you guys i am doing something a little bit different today <clears throat> excuse me um this video is going to be long so if you end up watching the whole thing i do appreciate it you definitely do not have to but i figured i should just post what my routine actually looks like and you know i've been preaching i go day by day and this is what today happened to look like so with that being said <clears throat> i was talking to my my boo yesterday and i was like what if by the end of this challenge i could do a front flip <laughs> with my jump rope and we both started laughing and in all reality, I am serious because here's the thing. I used to dance, kind of still do, on my own time. I have just always had this weird disconnect from my body for whatever reason and clearly as we speak, I am working on that right now. But even when I was dancing, I don't even know, 8 to 16 hours a week, I never fully felt connected to myself um, and it just varied week by week it depends on what our schedule entailed but that being said this challenge is just pushing me to find myself again I would love to eventually reconnect with dance I just have to work my way to it for whatever reason um, it seems so simple to some people, but for me, it's not, and it's just what it is. I have always led a very active lifestyle, so when that all stopped, it was really hard for me. But I am really happy to be back into it. It's positive for me. In the past, I always put so much pressure on being perfect and just, I don't know, it's, it's so hard to explain, but like, you don't have to be freaking perfect. Like, just fucking get up. And if you do five push-ups and that's all you do, okay. Like, it doesn't have to be so complicated. And I know I'm not the only one. You know? Like, I get it. I have this, like, image in my mind of what things should look like. But that has always... It's always come back to bite me in the ass. You know? Like... When you start, you, you learn things from when you start. And if you don't start, you're never gonna see through your mistakes or from what you could have done better. I've gone many years in a row where my mindset has been so fixated on what the future should look like for me and not what is just happening right now. And then, guess what it puts me right back in my seat right back into doing the same old shit that doesn't get me anywhere that doesn't you know benefit me in any way and it's all because there's this desire for wanting to be perfect which does not exist just progress and progress speaks loud in itself I'm not saying that you're going to feel fulfilled every single day and every single workout that you do, but I will challenge you this. If you're sitting on the couch and let's just say all of a sudden your mind is like, I need to go to the gym. Take five minutes. Doesn't even have to be five minutes, but I suggest five minutes. And take those five minutes to do a workout that you enjoy. Don't do some fucking burpees or some mountain climbers or some miserable ass thing that nobody wants to do okay if you like doing handstands do a handstand if you like doing cartwheels do a cartwheel if you like doing push-ups do push-ups the reason why I picked jump roping is because I actually enjoy jump roping I think it's fun I like that I can do tricks and learn new things and just incorporate I don't know it's just at my own speed I am I appreciate that my mom 
I, I was like, mom, do you wanna, do you wanna join my challenge with me? And she's like, hell to the no. I am not jump roping, jumping jacks, nothing. She doesn't like it. She doesn't like the, the jumping motion. And that's okay. Like I asked her, I got a no, and that's that's totally cool. My mom, my mom does other things, you know. But find exercises that you like. Don't make yourself miserable to the point where you don't get to reach your goals because you don't like what you're doing. But if you like to do jumping jacks, do jumping jacks. Like find ways to enjoy your exercise routines because I can promise you one thing: you'll more than likely stick to it. I danced for so long because it was part of my soul. Even though I didn't fully feel connected to my body, so to speak, it was still engraved into who I am as a person. And that is what kept me going for so long. And I'm a creative person as well too. So it allowed me to just be at times. I really just want you guys to hop on board with me and just let me be let me be your jump roping bestie okay like we're gonna figure this out together we're gonna be doing front flips and back flips with our jump for our jump ropes just just watch and see all right okay but for real if i actually tried doing a freaking back flip i would act i would like break my neck i i'm gonna need like a gymnast to teach me how to do a backflip. I've never been able to do a backflip. They actually scare the, the shit out of me, but I can do a front flip. I, I tried, God, how long ago was that? I don't even know. I used a trampoline a little while ago. It's actually probably been a little over a year, but I was able to do a front flip still. And that wasn't, yeah, a year ago isn't that long, okay? I still know the motion. It's just a matter of time, okay? Maybe I'll practice in a swimming pool first before I get too crazy, but I do know that I can do it. It would be scary, but it's a challenge. And I'm not saying I'm going to be doing this at the end of the 100 days. I mean, that would be actually insane. Who knows? Actually, I, I can't speak for that because I don't know what the future holds. Remember, I have to live day by day so I don't go crazy. Um, if you've made it to this point, I so appreciate you. And if you did make it to this point, let's, I've seen other people do this on the internet, so I'm going to copy some people, but let's, let's do a little, uh, word challenge. And if you made it to this point, comment crisscross. All right. Crisscross. Just that. That's all I need to know that you're listening, that you're here with me, that I've entertained you to this point. I really am trying to just get my point across. I am a smart lady. I have learned so much about my worth this year, and I just want to share my message with the world. So if you see this, you need to freaking follow me, okay? Follow me and hang out because it's only going to get better from here. I mean, this is just the beginning. I have failed so many times that I'm just like, you know what? It's it's all good. Like it has just bu- it's is that the right word? buffed me up to get to where I am now. And I'm just happy with what I've learned. It's not been easy, but I am grateful and there are some days I still have dots to connect but we is here right now jump roping our little hearts out and i know i'm not the only one i mean i have followers 166 of you okay and 282 of you on youtube all right let's give me a round of applause (laughs) i really hope more of you join me all right i'm speaking to the universe right now let's go But in all seriousness, I am grateful for you guys, whoever is here, whoever's watching. This has been fun so far. I'm just, like I said, I'm really happy to be back, reconnecting with my body, my soul, 
is invested into this jump rope okay it's gonna come with me everywhere i'm going to i'm gonna travel with it it's gonna it's gonna come with me in my purse it's gonna be in my car it's just gonna be part of me now and i really hope you all stay for the journey that lies ahead because like i said this is just the beginning and i'll see y'all tomorrow thanks for listening bye guys <laughs>